Two people shot, including one person who has died. This following a shooting this morning at an apartment complex in Independence. Right now, police continue looking for the suspect involved in the crime. And 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey joins us now from the scene of the shooting with reaction from neighbors. Tom. Well, Rhiannon, multiple neighbors I spoke to saying the shooting happened in that area of the lawn that you see behind me and a big argument between two groups led up to this shooting. Now those same neighbors are left in shock after reports that someone died in that shooting. We ready to go to an interview. It was just like boom, 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 boom. Police say the violence all started around 1030 this morning. I just heard the shots and came outside and there, by the time I came outside, there was police everywhere. Shots fired at the Hawthorne Place apartments, leaving one person dead and another injured following what neighbors described as a big argument outside the homes. Many forced to hide inside their apartments, but Cindy Stevens ran to help a victim. He passed out, you know, so I'm like, just sat there trying to do what I can do to the paramedics came. A man shot multiple times, needing immediate attention. I was just like, give him some room to breathe, you know, roll him over, let's get this shirt off of him, let's see what he's bleeding from. The shooting leading to a big emergency response as police looked for suspects. They're in backyards, they're everywhere. I've never seen this many police before. Nearby schools put on precautionary lockdown and people who live at the complex forced to stay away during the response. I just kept hearing a lot of sirens and I come up this way to see what was going on and I seen police everywhere. The shooting bringing plenty of concern for parents at Hawthorne Place. I worry about my little cousins because it's just crazy. Innocent kids can get hurt. With one person taken into custody and questioned, this evening police continue to search for a suspect after violence that claimed a life. I just hope that and pray for the families that got affected today. Staff at both Randall Elementary as well as the Susquehanna Assembly of God Preschool put on lockdown. Uh, they put the facilities on lockdown out of precaution, but no uh, issues were reported uh, this evening. No info on the victims or any description of the suspect who remains at large right now. Live in Independence, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.